honestly, I feel like some kind of TV host or news guy that is going to break down some big news to you. Welcome to my Mori YouTube channel and welcome to this historic video. Why historic? Well, actually, it's the first review that I'm doing. Why Pirelli Scorpion STR tires for the first review? From the first day when I got these tires, I've got so many questions from you in my DMs probably more than hot chicks get from creeps on Instagram. So this is your lucky day. I'm doing this for you and also for big YouTube money. I need to disclose that I'm not sponsored by anyone. Yeah, that's sad. Also, I'm not an expert by any means. I've been riding for two years. So take this review with a grain of salt. But what I can do is give you my honest opinion and my experiences with these tires after more than 15,000 kilometers and riding in all kinds of terrains and all kinds of weather. Wow. If you have attention span of average teenager on TikTok and you would like to know my opinion about these tires, I'm going to tell you straight away, they're excellent. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. To all of you that you would like to know more, here are my thoughts. The chapters are down below, so you can skip to the parts that you are most interested in. Let's begin. The Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR is an adventure or dual sport tire. I would say that it's 80% for road riding and 20% for light off-road. But honestly, I didn't care about off-roading. I They just look good on my bike, so I bought them. Handling on the road. This was the biggest surprise for me. I thought that these tires are going to be, let's say, not so good on the road as regular street tires. It's a beautiful day and I waited for weather to clear up a little bit because it was raining a few days. This is one-way road, no traffic and lots of twists. You need to warm these tires just a little bit more than the regular street tires. Okay, so how do they behave on the road? Actually, I must admit that I was really, really surprised with the handling. When you get them brand new, you will have to ride a little bit slower for about 100 kilometers until you break them in. As soon as you wear out the top layer, they will feel the same as normal street tires. They are so fun to ride, they have so much grip, and I have even more confidence riding on the road, especially when leaning into the corners. As you can see, even with my poor riding skills, it feels like I'm so much better. They feel excellent, 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 excellent. So if you have these kind of conditions for example if you have roads that are pretty bad and there is a tiny gravel left from the winter or left from the trucks that are pulling and devastating the trees and forest uh, and also if you have any kind of dirt on the road for example like this if you have let's say that this is gravel something like here you see so before when i was on street tires when there was some kind of gravel islands in the middle of the road I would get so scared because my front tire was just trying to slip out I was riding on similar road like this I was riding about 70 or 80 kilometers and it was a straight line I just didn't see big 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 gravel island in the middle of the road just went straight through it riding 80 kilometers an hour no wobble no slippage at all so it was perfectly fine uh, you get that some kind of connection with the surface that you don't have with the regular street tire. Don't lean in the corners if you have gravel on the road. You will slip out no matter what. But you will feel much, much, much more safe and much more confident when you are going to ride in conditions like this when there is any kind of gravel or dirt on the road. And what about off-roading? As you can see, they're excellent. Oh, better watch out. Some mud on the road. Coming from street tires, riding off-road felt like a whole different world. 
They have very good traction, they stick very well, and braking is not an issue. I did more than 3,000 kilometers off-road on all kinds of different terrains. Gravel, dirt, dust, sharp rocks, and I must say that they are solid all-round tire. So they are excellent for these kind of conditions. As you can see, my front tire is pretty stable. So with my old tires that were basically only for the street, I didn't have any kind of courage to ride off-roading. I mean, I could ride off-roading, but I wasn't so confident at all, especially in the corners, especially riding a little bit faster. With these tires, it was completely, completely different story. As soon as I finished recording the video about the tires, it started to rain. So this is a good opportunity to show you how they behave and tell you my experiences uh, about them on the rain and wet surfaces. I've been caught up in few really, really big thunderstorms when I was traveling around Croatia. It was pouring rain, the road was full of water. And I would say that they're quite good. They're somewhere in the middle. Obviously, they're not going to be as good as, let's say, Michelin Pilot 4 or 5. I've ridden those tires a few times uh, during the rain and they were excellent. I feel pretty comfortable, as you can see, in wet conditions. Uh, I don't feel that they're going to slip out. And I would rate them as a good tire for wet conditions. But also, I think that uh, Pirelli is using silica, I think that it's pronounced silica, that repels water. And, like I said, in my experiences, never had any problems, feel quite safe. So, I guess they're okay. I've told you about the positives, and now let's get on to the negatives. But before, let me show you this spooky old hospital. So quick story before I tell you about the tires. This hospital was built by a man who was in love in this beautiful girl. It's a romantic story. Uh, and she was suffering from some kind of a lung disease. He was hoping that she is going to be better, that he is going to cure her, but unfortunately she died. After this beautiful, heartwarming, romantic story, let me tell you about the negatives of these tires. So let's pretend that it was raining for a few days. These tires are going to be very, very bad for any kind of mud conditions. Obviously, they are not aggressive off-road tires, but let me show you why. My tires are pretty worn out, but as you can see, they have these big chunks of rubber and the space between, it's not so wide. So these will fill out very, very fast. I've been stuck in the mud for two or three times maybe, and I had to push my bike out. The second terrain that these tires are not good for is the sand. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not riding in the sand at the moment but I've been riding once, let's say a shallow sand and it was pretty, pretty bad, even with completely new tires. And the last thing is riding in any kind of deep snow and ice. Of course, these are not tires for icy conditions by a margin, but if you're planning to do a little bit of off-roading in the snow, uh, if you're crazy like me, uh, these tires are not going to be very good for that too. The spaces between the chunks are going to fill up very fast with snow, with sand, with mud and you're going to get stuck. So those are the three terrains that these tires are not good for. Mud, sand and deep snow slash ice. I've been reading on the forums that people complain about the noise. Let me tell you something. First of all, I don't ride so fast. I ride about 120 kilometers max because I don't like to ride on the highways. That's the first thing. The second thing is 
my helmet is pretty loud. I can't even hear the music while it's playing while I'm riding. The engine is loud, the wind noise in my helmet is terrible. I honestly didn't hear any kind of noise when I was riding. I'm going to shut up now, I'm going to ride about 40 or 50 kilometers, maybe a little bit faster, so you can hear for yourself. This mic is in my helmet, so I'm going to try to ride a little bit faster and I'm going to even uh, press the clutch, so maybe you will hear if there is any kind of noise. Did you hear any kind of noise? Maybe on another bike and maybe in different kind of conditions or riding speed they have some kind of noise but for me they're perfectly quiet. When I got these tires I was expecting some kind of vibrations because I've never ridden uh, or any kind of off-road tires. In my mind I was thinking they're going to feel a little bit different. They're going to be some kind of vibrations at certain speed. I didn't feel much of a difference, to be honest. It felt almost completely like a regular street tire. Maybe a little bit around 100 kilometers, but I don't know, honestly, I can't tell the difference anymore. So no, after long rides, long trips, didn't feel any tingling in my hands. So after riding in all kinds of conditions, all kinds of weather, let me show you how they look like after more than 15,000 kilometers. Of course, every situation is going to be different uh, and any kind of tire wear is going to be dependent on lots of factors. For example, if you're riding heavier bike, uh, if you're having a luggage, any kind of luggage on your bike, how much do you weigh? How do you ride? Do you ride aggressively? Do you ride slowly? Uh, do you ride in summertime? Do you ride in wintertime? Uh, this Yamaha XSR 700, it's around 100 to 120 kilos. I am about, let's say about 95 kilos. And I've been riding all over the place, all over Croatia, all kinds of terrains. And this is the state of the tires, the indicators are around here. So as you can see, I have some tires left. Front one is in much better state than the rear one. After more than 15,000 kilometers, I must say that I'm pretty happy with the mileage, pretty happy how long did it last. Quick tip or advice before it gets completely dark. If you want to get more mileage with these tires and you are planning to ride mostly on road, try to avoid riding during the hottest part of the day during the summer. For example, here in Croatia during summer it's around 35 maybe to 40 degrees and if you have heavier bike uh, full with luggage or riding with a companion the tires are going to uh, war much much more faster but yeah I've tried to avoid riding during hot summer days in the middle of the day and the tires last longer if you watch the whole video you probably know what I'm going to say about these tires but if you skip to the end and you want to know my honest opinion, here are my final thoughts about Pirelli Scorpion STR. These tires are not meant for deep mud, snow or sand and you'll be probably much much better with any kind of more aggressive off-road tire. If you're riding in similar conditions like me, that's about 17 to 80 percent on the road in dry conditions and 20 to 30 percent on light off-road these tires are exceptional trust me i was so much surprised and i'm going to buy another pair hell yeah <laughs> i think that that's it my first review hit like hit subscribe thanks guys and see you in the next one peace